Okay guys, I've been working on this now, and this tool right here is probably the handiest tool that you can have for doing this type of work, or any type of work as far as that goes. I've got a bimetal blade on here, I can cut wood or nails. What I do is, you can't really get in here with a sawzall down in here to work on anything, but this thing will go right down inside the wall, and you can use it to cut these things through here, and then I can come up here and cut them off up here and knock them out. Now I've just about got this one here. i got a little bit left to do on this one to kind of show you how it works. Okay, we've got that one cut off now. And what I'll use to do is I'll take a hammer and screwdriver in these type situations. And I'll try to break that thing loose a little bit. And take these pieces of wood out piece by piece. want to make sure we don't destroy our sheetrock down below it. Because what it is, is there's nails coming through from the outside out there. This is part of demolition. See, we got a nail right there already, I see. Now, that's got our piece of wood out. And because we have a bimetal blade, this is what we're going to do. We got two nails sticking out right here that's got to go. They're in the way. Now you don't have to cut these all the way off. But all you got to do is that's usually all it takes. And you can take a pair of pliers and they break right off. And that gets them out of the way. Okay guys, we've got our bottom plate cut. We're going to look at our grain. We're going to make sure the grain is in the right direction. You don't want to put a piece of wood in under a window with the grains. See the grains are, I don't know if you can see on the camera. You see how these grains are like this right here. You don't want this to be the bottom of the board because if you turn this board over like this right here, what happens is the grains are cupped like this and it will hold water if it was to leak around the window any and it would rot this bottom seal out. You want to turn it over you want to make sure that the grains are turned and the rainbow is the top up here like this, arched up so that if water gets on this it will automatically shed it off the wood rather than it holding it. So we're going to take this, we're going to see if we got it where to fit. And once we get it in, it's got to slip down behind this here and go down in there. Okay, we've got it down in there. Now, we're going to take a drill motor and we're going to put some screws in it to hold it in place.
Anybody ever says caulking don't hold? They don't know what they're talking about. That's all it's holding. This is caulking. Where's the caulking? Okay, it's not holding no more. <laughs> it's balanced right now. Which is a good thing. Okay, guys, we're fixing to have a hole in the back wall. Let's pray it don't rain till we get the window in. This is going to be our view from in our living room from now on. Isn't that awesome? When we get a window in there. Yeah, we've got a little ways to go. Okay, we're ready to uh, start taping in our window. We have our weather sealant tape here. Uh, it's a real sticky tape that's got an aluminum finish on one side of it. You peel the back off and it sticks. Um, I was going for six inch wide, but the company didn't have any six. Four inches is all they had, so I'm having to double it to use it. And what we've done is I'll go ahead and take this out. I've already put the first piece down um, to cover up the board on the bottom. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to half lap it. Make sure it's good and clean or to stick good. back off of it. What this does is this prevents water from seeping in around it. And rotting out the, uh, around the bottom of the window. Now once you get that corner like that, what I like to do is I like to take and I'll just cut it and fold that back over like that. What we're going to be doing is going down through here, kind of sticking this about half the thickness of that, and then, then we're going to fold that down. Like, kind of like this. What that does is, and we'll come back and put a piece here in this corner in a minute, but this creates a water barrier, so if water gets into this, it hits and sheds off and doesn't go back into the house anyway. This is a code requirement here, so and, but I advise anybody to do it anyway. It's just a good practice. When I first built my house, we didn't have all this stuff to do this with. So as we go back and do any kind of improvements, we try to make sure we we get everything done real nice. All right now, we're gonna come back. We're gonna stick them in there like that. We're gonna fold that over there take care of our corner. Well guys, we're getting the window nailed in. Uh, we had footage of the other, but Wanda didn't turn the camera on. Uh, we thought we had it on. We was going to show you how we put it in, how we leveled it, and how we shimmed it, and all that, but we didn't get that part, so 
We're just nailing it in now and then we're going to come back and put tape around the outside edges of it when we get through. Okay guys, what we're doing here is we're making sure we cover up the flange with this Some people say you put the bottom on first, some people say you put the sides, it don't really matter, this stuff is so sticky to it don't matter how you put it on there, it's, it's going to seal Guys, we've got our little window casing. We got the first part of it built. We want to make sure it fits before we before we actually finish it. Okay, looks like that's going to be it. Okay, we've got this fluted mold in here. We're going to use to go on the sides here. We're going to uh, put it up here. Of course, I'll have to mark it and cut it off. But um, we're going to put this on each side to kind of match the fluted molding going up the fireplace uh, there. And then we'll get the top built to go on this thing and we'll have it. Okay y'all, this little small trim that goes on the ends of all this up here, I don't nail it because if you do, it'll bust. I always glue mine because I found that when I glue it, I don't have to worry about it, uh, it busting. It's always a safe bet.
Okay guys, we got here, we've got our window completely installed now, and we've got it painted and everything looks good, so we're going to be enjoying the view out the back window now. We've missed that since we took the French doors out here and um, it's really, really going to be a blessing to be able to look back out and see the back hill again. And also it lets light into our house so that we don't have to run our lights all the time. It's, part, it's more of a bringing our house back to being more sustainable because when the heater was in this corner, this corner of the house was dark. We had to have lights on in here all the time to be able to see. But now we don't have to have all the lights on all the time to see. We can come across. We've got our back door there. Now we have this big five foot wide window here. So it's going to make keeping our homestead lit up a little bit easier even if there's no electricity. Thank you all from Deep South Homestead.